Hey everyone, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I edit a photo all within Aurora HDR and then I take it in Photoshop to do a little bit more adjustments. So let's get into that. So in Aurora, we're just gonna go ahead and open up our images, which is a, a kitchen edit. It's a naturally exposed bracketed image ranging from underexposed to properly exposed to overexposed. So I'm gonna go ahead and shift click all those and we're gonna open it up. It's gonna go ahead and give us this option. Um, I could hit alignment, but I don't need to because I was on a tripod. So we're just gonna hit create HDR. So here's the resultant image of those three blended images, which looks pretty good. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and add one of these, these like filters down here. I like this bright one a lot, so I will bring it down just a little bit just so that's not too intense. I think 70 is good. Um, I think I want to go ahead and expand bring bring it up just a little bit because i think it can be just a little bit brighter i think that's good enough um we can make any other necessary adjustments but i like to make more adjustments in photoshop so if we see there's a lot of color gas going on here so if we bring those colors down we can see exactly what's really having an issue here on those color casts so so other than that let's just go ahead and bring this right into photoshop just so that we can make those necessary adjustments All right, so in Photoshop, here's the image. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the background because I like, and I'm gonna make a duplicate because I always like having a duplicate in case I need to refer to the original. Then we're gonna go ahead and add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. We're going to bring down the greens because we saw that there were some greens in there. And well, we're gonna bring them up first. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust to capture more greens in here just so that we can get rid of as much green as possible. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and desaturate that. And then I'm going to bring back the limes here. So let's go ahead and get a brush tool, make sure it's set on black. My opacity is 100, flow is 13. And we're just going to bring the greens back in just for these limes here. All right, so now we're gonna to go to another hue and saturation for the yellows. And let's go to yellows, bring that down. Notice how a lot I like, I like it there. I think it does good there, All right? So now we are going to bring back the yellows in the areas that we want. So that just makes it easier for us. So we're gonna get the brush again. So B, make sure we're on black, 100%, 30, okay. So I know that there was some yellowing in here, so I'm gonna bring that back a little bit in here, just so it's not too weird, because we know that this was yellow. Um, we're gonna bring back the, the lemons here. All right, good to go. And then I know that this is brown, so brown has a little bit of some yellowing in it, so we're gonna bring those back here, just, you know, just touching it up, nothing too perfect. And along this wall, because I know that this is a brown as well. So from there, that's the that's pretty much it for the color. So now we look at this, this big difference that we have from this super yellowy, you know, kitchen from this more white, pristine, which is what we really saw at the, at the house. So the last thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit Shift, Option, Command, and E. I'm on a Mac. So we're gonna do the alignments. So let's go ahead and bring out a vertical here. I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust for this wall, this or door frame, I should say. Sorry. Then we'll make one for the middle. This blind is actually pretty vertical as it is. And then we are going to do this this cabinet line here. So let's do that. All right. We'll go up to Edit, Transform, Skew, and then we'll bring it out until our verticals start to meet with our guide. And it's almost there, almost there, almost there. Okay, I think that's good for the right-hand side. The middle, oh, we gotta adjust that. We would have to move that back. Let's do the left now. And, wow, that's vertical already, great. Hit enter, let's go ahead and readjust this one just to make sure that it's, oh, that's super vertical. This is vertical, oh, there's a little, little hint there and then this is vertical as well so 
So I hope you guys found this tutorial a little interesting and helpful just so that you guys can see an overall process of bringing it into Aurora HDR and then making some adjustments in Photoshop as well. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Like this video so that it lets me know you guys like these videos and I'll keep making more videos like this. And if you already haven't, please subscribe because I'll be releasing about two to three videos a week. That's my goal. And I'm hoping that you know, we can just bring out as much content as possible. Also, another thing, you guys can go ahead and check out Aperture University. It's a blog that I talk about real estate photography and video. You'll see more articles there. You'll see some free resources that you guys can get. And, you know, all around, it's just learning more about real estate photography and video. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.